Hello guys, and today I'm going to be telling you some good tips on Pokemon Go. So let's get to it. Okay, so... Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so probably the first tip is that... Well, this is not really a tip, this is just to help you to get Pikachu. Mm, probably the most rarest Pokemon ever. So, you know at the beginning when you start, you have probably three choices like Bulbasaur, Charmander, I'm oh, sorry, Charmander, or Squirtle, 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 I forgot Squirtle. But, if you want to get Pikachu at the very start, you have to keep walking away from those three. So if they th if those three appear and you want Pikachu, walk away from them, walk in a different direction of them, and as soon as they'll they'll reappear on your thing, keep walking away from them until Pikachu joins their map, and then you can catch him because I caught him, and believe me, he only gets like eleven combat power, but. You have got mostly the rarest Pokemon ever on this game. So, tip. How to help you. Okay, so tip number two is if you want to hatch an egg and you do not want to walk. Sorry, that was my dad. That was just my dad. There. Oh, my face. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so carrying on, if you don't want to walk and you really want to hatch an egg and you have, like, an egg that you're just like, I don't want to hatch it, but I don't want to walk, so here's a tip. You can either attach it to a bike and maybe move the pedals, but that means moving your arm and your, your elbow a leak. You could, if you have one of those fun light things that spin around, ooh, ta uh, ooh. <laughs> attach it to one of them and let it just swing around, basically. Or, you could actually attach it to a pet and just let him walk around so then your egg will hatch without you even walking. So... <laughs> If you're lazy like me, not to brag, um, that is a good tip to use. I would use it. Um, another tip to help you get up a level really quick. This is basically you have to go to every single Pokestop that you can find, okay? So be prepared because you want to level up which means you need to collect more things. You need to collect more Pokemon. And you need to collect more... Well, you need to go to more Pokestops. And you need to walk more, hatch more eggs, collect more medals. This will help you level up. So if you want to do that, get a move on. Another tip is just to help you be prepared for battles. So sometimes when you go in battles and you see who's on there, You'll see that maybe it's like 50 combat power or something. You're like, I could beat that. But you need to make sure you have a 50 combat power, 100 combat power, 200 combat power, 300 and so on till 1,000. Because... Sorry, just these. <sighs> because sometimes when you go in battles, you may... Sorry, I'm going to sneeze again. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just sneezed. I'm sorry, I'm really sneezy today because I've just been in a field of hate. Sorry. Because you... They won't let you get this gym easy. They'll have probably... Uh, 50 combat power to 1,000 combat power. Or even over. So, get your best Pokemon and start powering it up. Evolving, doing anything you can. I think it's tip number five. My own tip number five? I think it's tip number five, but anyway, another tip is that to help you defeat 
things in gyms and that and um, battles and stuff you need to evolve loads of your pokemon so if you catch a weedle don't power that up that is no use evolve it evolve it until it gets to a bee drill then power up the bee drill so if you get a weak one like pidgey or paris or squirtle charmander pikachu i mean pikachu is good but you need to power them up and evolve him but you need to evolve them to their full form and then that will help you defeat in battles because you don't want a lim a, a, a whimsy whimsy one like weedle pidgey paris um all those ones that are really weak even though you powered them up so much it won't help that the other battle will have dinosaurs, dragons, sea monsters. Okay, this is just a thing I learnt, and I don't know if you guys know this, but sometimes if you go in your Pokédex and click on some of the things that you have in your Pokédex, it will show you what it will evolve into. So if you have Magikarp, you have to keep collecting him until you get 400. 400 is a lot, but it is worth it. Because he... I'm sorry, I can't see my face button. Because he turns into a big, big, massive sea monster. If you go on the Pokemon Go screen when it's loading, it says beware of your surroundings and it has a person holding his phone walking and it has this big huge sea monster trying to eat it. That sea monster is what Magikarp will turn into and believe me, he is fierce when you power him up. You are totally going to win a battle, <laughs> believe me. Okay, so I just wanted to jump up. So another tip is if you want to get really good Pokemon and eggs, you need to get 10k eggs. You need to hatch them first. 10k eggs can contain probably the most rarest of Pokemon, like Snorlax or Magikarp. Those are good ones. Even though you may not think you're just like, they're useless. These are to help you power them up. They come with extra candy. They can give you loads. 2k eggs, they give you the worst ones. They give you Pidgey, Weedle. Those ones. 5k eggs, they can give you Pidgeot, the ones that are probably fully evolved, but still, like, Beedrill, these Weedle but evolved, but I would, I would mostly try and hatch the 10k and the 5k eggs first. This is just a thing to, if you people that are helpful out there, won't we? So I might be going to fall and then out. Mm, sorry, I had to make it this time. Um, what was I talking about again? I totally, I literally just forgot what I was. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Think, 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 think. Oh, I got it, I got it, oh, sorry. I thought I was going to lose my thought then because I couldn't think of anything. So, back to my thing. If you guys, let me just kneel. Oh, no, no, not kneeling down. Kneeling down is a good thing to do. It looks so horrible. Okay, enough with that. <laughs> Sorry. So, if you are helpful and you want to be helpful on the Pokemon Go, and um, I would, to help people get more Pokemon is if you catch a module, 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 or incense, spread it around maybe a Pokestop and everyone will go there and loads of Pokemon will be there. This will help you and others and your friends so then they can get more Pokemon and you can get more Pokemon and you'll show them that you are very helpful and you can just be like, mm, I was the one who put down the incense because I was so helpful and I am just the best. Speaking about incense, some of these things are what you catch in Pokestops so you can get potions and eggs and Pokeballs and things that you can get are to help you. So, some of the things that you can actually get in Pokestops are helpful, like I just said, they are very helpful. They are, well some of them you can get are eggs, you can get 10k, 5k, 2k, those eggs, aim for the eggs, you can get Pokeballs, you, 
can easily run up Pokeballs. My dad, he ran up them <laughs> really quickly because he is a bad aimer. But I have got 170 Pokeballs so far. Um, other things are you can get revive. So if you do lose a battle, you can revive. Keep collecting revives because they can help you get back the Pokemon that you lost. So if you lose a battle, you lose the Pokemon that you battled. But if you have revives, you will use them to get back your Pokemon. So do not go in a battle without revives. Or else you are dead. You will be dead. You will be crushed. Another thing is potions. I think those potions are potions that... Are, they're like incense or something. I don't know. I forgot. forgot what the potions are. You can also get raspberries. Which... If you have a very bad Pokemon to catch and you cannot catch it. If your aiming's good, good. But it keeps coming out of the ball and stuff. You feed a raspberry. You feed, you feed it a raspberry. And it will easily, or sometimes easily, go in the egg. I had to feed Pikachu a raspberry. I did, actually, I did. And I fed Ghastly. Ghastly is a very, very... When he evolves, he's gonna be good. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching my tips on Pokemon Go. And I hope you guys use this wisely. About the walking, the potions and stuff, and the revives, and the battles, and how to evolve, and... How to hatch eggs and all those other things. But yeah, how to level up, get medals and everything. Um, use these wisely. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.